An optimum dispensing result essentially depends on three parameters. The dispensing speed, the needle distance, and the dispensing pressure. To detect incorrect dispensing results, take a close look at the dispensing bead. In the top image, the bead is flattened and wide. In the image below, it is thin and interrupted. This is referred to as line breakage. A bead that is too thick can have the following causes. Dispensing speed too low, dispensing pressure too high, or needle distance too small. To correct the error, first increase the dispensing speed. In the direct comparison, you can see that the dispensing bead becomes much more uniform. If it is not possible to adjust the speed for production-related reasons, reduce the dispensing pressure. You can see that the dispensing bead is applied much more evenly. As a third variable, you can increase the distance between the dispensing tip and the material. The larger needle distance ensures that the adhesive is not pressured flat during application. An interrupted dispensing bead can have the following causes. Dispensing speed too high, dispensing pressure too low, or needle distance too large. Proceed as follows to solve the problem. Reduce the dispensing speed. You can see that the dispensing bead no longer has any gaps and is uniform. In the next step, you can increase the dispensing pressure. Thus, you achieve a significantly better result at the same dispensing speed. Finally, you can decrease the needle distance to the material. This allows for more direct application and prevents the dispensing bead from being torn off. For optimal dispensing, the right balance between all three parameters is essential. In addition, we recommend using a conical needle for dispensing. This allows you to achieve a fast and clean dispensing result at lower pressure. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact our customer service. Always proceed as follows to correct incorrect dispensing results. First, adjust the dispensing speed. Then, adjust the dispensing pressure. And finally, adjust the needle distance.